Well, in 2018, the OECD Programme for International Student Assessment, or PISA, conducted the first assessment of students' capacity to live in an interconnected world. We refer to this as global competence. To do well on this assessment, PISA expects that students can combine knowledge about the world with critical reasoning. If you drink a cup of coffee here in Paris, can you see the connections with workers on a coffee plantation at the other end of the world? Second, PISA looks at whether students understand and appreciate their perspectives and worldviews of others. That is so important too. You know, these days algorithms behind social media are sorting us into groups of like-minded people. They create virtual bubbles that often amplify our views, but leave us insulated from divergent perspectives. They homogenize opinion and they polarize our societies. So PISA looks at whether students have a sense of right and wrong, a sensitivity to the claims that others make on us, a deep understanding of how others live in different cultures and traditions and how others think, whether as scientists or as artists. And third, PISA looks at whether students can adapt their behavior and communication to interact with individuals from different traditions, different cultures. Not all of the results from this assessment are pretty. It's clear that many school systems have a long way to go to educate students for tomorrow's interconnected world. So how do we do this best? And what can we learn from other countries in this respect? Well, you know, join us to discuss all of that at the launch of the OECD PISA results. It's going to be hosted live at the AFS Global Conference. So let's join forces to better support globally competent students. And with that I mean students who will engage to improve the living conditions in their own communities and build a more just more peaceful, more inclusive, and more sustainable world.